Welcome back to another discussion video gamers. Honkai Star Rail has been well received by many players across the globe. Despite initially many people complaining, especially Genshin players, that the game turn based combat is too slow. As a matter of fact, personally for me, the combat is what makes the game very fun. However, I've been thinking, in the future as the game grows and more characters are introduced, I think that at some point the developers need to think a way to spice up the combat more with the large number of rosters available so that the other characters can still feel relevant. And to a certain extent, you can see that the game is evolving. In this video, I'm going to discuss 5 combat improvements that I think will space up the game so much more if it's added into the combat mechanics for the future. All of the following 5 mechanics that I'm going to talk about will make strategizing in the game to be more fun, and with the intention of having these systems, will hopefully alleviate some of the power creep that is going to happen in the future. Before we move on, do leave a like and subscribe to my channel if my video is informative and helpful in some way as it will keep helping me in making content much like this discussion video. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Number 1. Reserve Member System and Mid-Battle Swap Reserve Party Members are a must-have for many modern turn-based RPG, especially with Honkai Star Rail with a roster that is only going to keep increasing in the future. By having a Reserve Party Member System that allows more characters that don't get much spotlight to be more active and be helpful with the current party. Imagine in the future, if the developers decide to put multiple enemy waves and can only be tackled with one party, and all of the enemies might have different weaknesses. This will make breaking enemy toughness bar to be very difficult. But with the reserve party member system, that problem can be addressed. I understand the argument that this might make the world exploration and the main story bosses to be a bit too easy. That's why at least it should be implemented in the simulated universe. Because that's where one of the biggest challenge available in the game at the moment. This also means that downloaded characters in the simulated universe can have more usage than being a reserve that can only be changed outside combat. Then again, this system is very powerful, allowing such mechanics must be balanced. And I think this can be done maybe by taking 2 to 3 skill points in order to swap one character, or maybe even consume 50% of the active party member ultimate energy in order to swap with the characters from the reserve party. Well, what do you guys think about this idea? Number 2. Reserve Member Assist Following up with the first point, this is something that I think will make the big roster of the game to be more involved in the future. If the first option is to be a bit too strong for the gameplay loop of the game, I think they should at least allow one character to be added as a reserve that will activate their assist skill every few turns as a supporting character, or given a limited amount of time within one battle. I'm gonna give a one small example, maybe if we put March 7th as the assist character, she will provide her shield to a random ally, this might help the party survive one more turn. Or if you put Jing Yuan as assist, you can have him activate his follow up attack once per battle, something like that. Personally I'm very fond of this idea because it doesn't disrupt much of the core combat, while you can involve more of your beloved characters into the fight. At the current state of the game, I think having these mechanics will make the game broken, but in the future when more enemy varieties and character rosters are available, this will be a very fun addition to the gameplay. Number 3. Character Combination Attack, Elemental Resonance, or Faction Skills Since at the moment, we don't have an elemental resonance like Genshin, I think adding a system that is similar to that would be nice too. In my mind, if you bring two or more characters from the same faction, there should be a special attack then that can be done. Maybe for instance, if you bring MC along with March 7 and Danhang, they could do a younger generation crew Astral Express special attack together. Or maybe bringing the Silver Main Guards trio, Jeopard, Bronya, and Pella will make a, some kind of Silver Main special attack or something like that. I can already imagine the possibility, it will be so cool. Well, if that is asking for too much, even having a faction buffs or elemental resonance like Genshin, it's not a bad idea either, as they encourage players to collect more characters and experiment with the dynamics between characters. One of the many reasons why I'm such a big fan of turn-based combat, because they have so many amazing potential mechanics like this that can be introduced to the game. Number 4. Elemental Reactions I believe Hoyoverse should already be an expert in these mechanics from Genshin, 
I don't know what's a good way to implement elemental reaction in Star Rail, but currently what comes to my mind, if you manage to implement two types of dots to the enemy, I think they should react with each other and produce some kind of debuff or extra damage. For example, if you break an enemy toughness with ice element, freeze is usually being applied. And then, if you add fire dot, the enemy will get additional damage due to the reaction between the two elements. But maybe there's about 50% chance for the freeze to be removed to keep this mechanic a little bit balanced. Another simple thing would be if two elements react, it will reduce the enemy resistance to one of the elements for a few turns or something like that. I think this idea is worth exploring in the future, maybe when the game is about 2 to 3 years old and the character rosters are already large. What do you guys think about this idea? Would you like to see any some kind of elemental reaction to be applied in Star Rails like Genshin? Let me know in the comment section. Lastly, number 5, pay out if you manage to break all the enemy toughness bar. This one is rather simple, since the game features weaknesses much like Persona 5, I was thinking that we should get some kind of a reward if we are able to break all of their toughness bar at the same time, during our turn. Just like how Persona 5 gives you a reward by allowing an, an all-out attack. I'm not asking for something too big like an, an all-out attack in Persona. It can even something simple like a Trails of series where all of your attacks will be guaranteed critical during that period of time. It can even be something simple like restoring one or two skill points or granting shields or many other small advantages you can get. Heck, the system can even be implemented along with the point number three for the combination attacks idea. Initially, this idea comes to mind because I got really annoyed with bosses that allows them to keep calling reinforcements like Svarok and killing his robot minions usually don't give us any advantages at all. It only makes the fight more annoying and with this payout system, I think that can make the fight a bit more balanced in that regard. Well, that's all for 5 battle mechanics that I would like to be added into the future of Honkai Star Rail. Once again, I would like to have these mechanics to be added because in the future, many more characters will be added and many might end up being power crap and being benched. My wish is that with this system, I hope some of these characters will stay in the spotlight for much longer. Since the characters in this game are so well designed, it's such a waste if we don't use them in our party. What kinds of combat mechanics you would like to see added into Honkai Star Rail in the future? Let everyone know in the comment section. As always, do leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more discussion video, especially for Honkai Star Rail. And you guys will be doing a good deed by supporting me. and keeps me motivated and keep making content. Until the next video, stay sharp gamers.